Hey filmmakers, it's Kerry with Filmmaker Central, and today we're going to show you how to do some material on text. You asked for it, you got it, here it is. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our effects library and find effects fusion composition and drop it on the timeline there and then bounce into fusion all right we've got our media out that's going to be our output of the whole thing back into the timeline and we need some text all right we're going to take uh so weird on my mac it always puts the toolbox on the other screen we're going to do a text 3d and I'll just have this say material text and because it's 3d we have to go from here to a render node a render earth 3d so that's the render 3d and from there we can go to our media out okay so <clears throat> we can size this a little bit and I'm gonna hit one to bring it up in the other screen here make it a little easier for me to move things around all right and now we have this carbon fiber material over here and when i drop this in it's going to become media in one and we want to just make that the background but we can't just drop it on there so we have to go to our text 3d come up here to shading from solid we're going to click on image now when we take our media in we can drop it right on there it's pretty cool but the size is way way off and we need a way of sizing it down so that it fits so i'm going to click on media in hit shift space bring up my toolbox go to transform and it's going to put the transform node on here so if I click on transform, I can come over here to size. And as you see, as I bring it in to different sizes, it sizes that material onto the text. All right. So, so far we're looking pretty good, but let's, let's kind of take it to another level here and we'll add some lighting effect to it. Like we did in the beginning. So I'm going to move my render 3D over and from my text 3D, shift space. And we're going to add a merge 3D. There it is. And now we can add a light. So that's going to really allow this to get spiced up quite a bit. So shift space, bring up my toolbox and we're going to use a spotlight. And we can take that spotlight and drop it onto the Merge 3D. All right, so far so good. Now, if we look at our kind of our, our 3D layout here, we can see the light's not going to hit that text. So I'm going to back it off a little bit and bring her down. All right. All right, we have the light lined up with the text, but nothing is working. Well, we have to turn on lights. So we'll go to our render 3D node, come over here to lighting and we'll enable lighting and wham, there it is. All right, so far so good. Let's turn our cone angle up some. We'll go to our intensity. We can turn the intensity down a little bit. And now we kind of have this cool gradient effect, but again, Let's take it to another level and we'll, we'll zoom out of things here. All right, we have our light selected and if we grab the handle on the light, you can see we can kind of move it around a little bit. So I'm going to move it all the way to one side, make sure my marker here is at the beginning. I'm going to be on my transform setting here. I'm going to 
click the keyframer here on my X axis. Then I'll go to the end and I'll drag the light over. All right. And you can see it automatically put a keyframe at the end. Let's whip back, hit play. There we go. Very, very cool effect. Now, let's go ahead and drop it over. Uh, let's just go and find some, some footage here. And I'm sure I have something handy. And here's just a, a little clip here. We'll drop it over and then we can see how that's going to look. I'll mute the track. We'll let this thing render for a moment. All right, now let's give it a play. And there it is. Bada boom, bada bing. So fairly simple, fairly straightforward. We just have to take our text make sure that the material is set to an image, drop the image on there, and then use a transform tool to get the sizing correct. Otherwise it's gonna, it could be really big, it could be really small. Sometimes we just need to scale that up a little bit so that everything works right. So another quick and dirty fusion tutorial. Hope you liked it. This has been Kerry with Filmmaker Central. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.